Uh, you want me to start the intro or you want to start it? Oh, you can go ahead. Welcome to Bristol. The last Coliseum. Zach? Yep. Uh, thank you, Reggie, for opening this up. Uh, as you can see, Anthony McClure getting his second pole of the season. Right next to someone else who already has two poles of the season and a win. Potato Boy. And then actually, uh, uh, Can K Racing and Anthony McClure, uh, McClure Race, uh, Motorsports both have two cars starting in the top four. Cooper, Potato Boy starting first and four, uh, first and third. And Anthony McClure, uh, or no, second and third. And then Anthony McClure and Ryan Cole, which is a two car team starting second and third. And the only team, the only car slacking on the K&K &K racing cars is the one that's been performing the m best in standing point standings, which is Space Guy, and he's start. He's actually not starting too far back. Mid pack's not where you want to be. You see uh, Santa Messi also starting up here next to his teammate, which is the two car team. Um, and then Frank Shelton snuck his way into top ten qualifying spot. Melinda Jones also did the same. Eric Monaco, who's also right there in standings, and Santa Messi, he's right there in standings. LJ Toledo flirting with the cut line as well. She is uh, qualified 10th, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, uh, last week's winner was, uh, we see ran Daytona Road Course, Sabre Fox. He's starting just outside the top, uh, right right around the top 15. Um, he pretty much whipped everyone's butts, took the lead off of a bad corner from Ron Ellison. was pretty much the fastest car. Took the win at Daytona Road Course, get their second one of the season, and propelled them and put him in a very good spot for the current playoffs, uh, which are still quite a few races away, a little less than 10 right now, which is still something we do need to worry about, but we'll see how they do. Um, that's a single card team, mind you. Uh, current points leader Shred, his points lead is uh, 9. Same situation as last race, actually. Uh, Frank Chilton started top 10. Shred did not start so well, so... This may be the points lead for Shred going away and Frank Chilton taking it back. Um, depending on how the 37 of Genghis Khan does, who's starting way back there, actually. Uh, not looking too promising. He is third in standing. So, uh, yeah, that clears up that very brief, interesting thing. Also, 71 running a Ham Nims car. I want to point that out. Really nice car. Um, anyways, back to the upfront cars. Reg, you got any thoughts on uh, how these guys may perform or what kind of racing we may see from this front pack or maybe something interesting you might think might happen in the back or the mid pack? I just hope they don't have like they did it. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah I, I did the tests. I'm crossing my fingers because they did some goofiness in practice I didn't like. Oh, and one big thing I did forget to mention. So, starting this race will be the new first rule of this format. So, we will not be having double file restarts at Tala, uh, not Tala, at Bristol, Martinsville, or Richmond due to the cars starting before the pace car enters pit, uh, enters pit road, causing the first place car to get an immediate penalty for passing the pace car. So, to prevent that, we have uh, X'd out our double file restarts will now be doing single file restarts and this track uh, which uh may deliver some interesting stuff uh that may be a good thing and plus that is it that rule changed because of what happened in the cup race last week you know what I, you know that cup race last week i think that was a one-time situation we didn't see it happen on one of the well you know i think i was the only restart of the race so we may just have to do that same thing for Daytona Beach specifically because it's just built weird. Still learning a lot. It's third year running the league, so we're getting better. Welcome. Zach, how's it feel to be 4th of July in Bristol in the last month? Well, we're probably feeling pretty good. We're about to start these engines and get her rolling. Drivers, start your engines! Command's been given. And Anthony McClure in the 54 is going to lead us to the green. We're going to go spectator here because I am somewhat shaking in my knees right now. We're going to see a little concerned, a little worried. We'll have to see. Three teams include the top six. You want to call green? 
Green flag in the air, and they're off. See if they can stay green. And oh, Santa Messi in the five. Up the track into the wall. That took no time. Yellow's out. Santa Messi destroyed. That's exactly what I said. Him go for I was concerned myself, but you know, I think the single file restart will help. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the replay and see what happened. Uh, here in the back stretch. This was on lap one to start. I wouldn't entirely blame that on Eric. I think the five just got. Five and the 55 got together. I know Eric's gonna be mad in that car. He is going to be yeah, I would be shaking in my boots as well. Yeah, 55 got into the 5. He couldn't slow down quick enough. Nothing he could have done. Right into his teammate, too. So that's double double trouble there. Uh, almost took two shot cast cars out. 17, 06, yeah. 21, 1, 71, 07, 43, 18, 3, and 88. That is three of the four. That we wind, we wind back to the beginning. Go to uh, my, go to yeah. All right. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and paste plus. We don't even have time to uh, look at this. That was the skin of LJ's team. Oh, leave moly. All right. It appears my paste plus isn't working, so we're gonna have to make this quick. Oh, we'll go slow-mo. Frank Chilton's there what? as well. What's this? Yeah. <laughs> Frank Chilton was He's also Frank Chilton also successful in avoiding. However, um, he did lose quite a few spots. Santa Messi still on the track in position. Uh, I'm not going to force him to go to pit road, but if I'm anyone behind Santa Messi, I'd watch out. He's in tenth. Uh, car behind that would be Caden Williams. Anthony McClure continues hey, to lead. LJ got past that with a skin of her team. I've seen that. <laughs> Scored seventh. Uh, I think they gained a few spots. As the top four hold remain, uh, fifth on back, not so, not so much the same. I think Santa Messi, uh, I wouldn't call it over for him. Uh, Tractor position is important, but we'll see how much that damage hurts him. Melinda Jones also has taken fifth. And with the single file restart, I don't think we're I don't think it's gonna be as bad. Now again, fifty lap race. We do have to keep that in mind. Let's see what's the pace and car saying for I this one? Zach, I am here to head that Monaco is happy Yeah, Monica Eric Monaco very displeased with the uh five. A lot of cars in the back with damage, then that that could be a disqualification. That that could be a manual DNF for those guys too. Monaco does not need that, but Unfortunately, is susceptible to it, seeing how far back they are. I will keep the standings up. I know it does mess with the ticker, but let's see. Uh, anyways, the 71 of Tattenhall and Jet 07 out of the race. Jet was actually a playoff driver, so we'll see how that goes. Single file restart here. Let you call the green. And Anthony McClure holds point. Let's keep an eye on Santa Messi, make sure they don't cause any issues. The 48 scored a lap down. The 99 appears to be much slower than the 30, and he's going to hold up these guys. Like, low key, kind of nervous right now. We got the points leader, Shred, has. Where did he come from? He just got around Frank Chilton. That's a points lead situation. Holy guacamole, and we're under caution again. I believe the 33 was involved. I mean, at least we ruined a couple laps. Let's see, what do we got here? The what was the one car involved? I think 57 looked like he may have got something. All right, let's take a look. So it looks like the 88. So cars that had damage already 
cause this. This was very avoidable. I'll say that much. We'll go slow mo here and take a look at it. So it looks like the 88 and Matt and V, who right at the put cut line along with Jeremy Free, they've been running together quite a bit lately. Not teammates. That was very avoidable. The 88 just put the 101 in the wall. Three nowhere to go. 101. 17 slides through. 57 nowhere to go. 51 nowhere to go. 1 nowhere to go. I think Monaco may have came out scot free. Nice save by Eric Monaco. Uh, Eric Monaco will also be getting a free pass after this, which is good. Uh, Rage of Fogman glitching through the trap. So, all those cars involved in that already had damage prior. So it was just stupidity on their part, really. That was very avoidable. Back to live coverage. Um, now, out of the race is the three. And the 51, quite possibly the one uh, 57. Eric Monaco should still be in the race. So it's just more cars that were already damaged going ahead and taking themselves out of contention. I'm going to go ahead and go to. We'll see, what's the pace car doing? Hey, Zach, give me a second. I'm on the headset. Give me a second. Alright, Reggie Fogelman needing a second. I'm going to pause the game real quick and turn on a setting. Hey, Eli, go ahead and calm down. Alright, back to live coverage. Hey, Zach, uh, Eli, uh, Eric may be, uh, might be in trouble after this race. How so? Because he's cussing on the radio. Wow, that's crazy. I can't. I can't imagine getting banned for cursing on the radio. I, certainly, people. Certainly, drivers don't do that. Curly, sure, surely they don't do that. I mean, of course, get, get wrecked because someone uh, pounded him because someone else pounded him, and then chain reaction. Of course, you, of course, you uh, get. Oh, it looks like uh, Eric Monaco going to the back here. We're going green this time. Sorry. Eric Monaco is getting the free pass, by the way, so he will be back on Sorry. the lap. If my command works, that is, which it has not worked l lately for some reason. I've seen a uh, crazy no. BGD who runs the uh, Xfinity Cup Series had that issue lately as well. I'm not sure what drives from that issue, but uh, that is a concern. I don't think it'll negatively affect the race. Reggie, you want to call it green again? Okay, well, it's not green yet, dog. <laughs> Pay attention. Okay, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Green, green, green. Alright, Boy back up. Uh, actually got a really good start there. I'm going to score a lap for 48, if the game will let me. Alright, Eric Monaco back on the lead lap due to the free pass. And uh, if they can keep it clean for a couple laps, I think we'll be alright. Santa and Messi uh, survived that last restart. Arguably, Actually, I can't say arguably what caused that last deal. That last deal is very avoidable. Still going to keep an eye on the cars in the back for trouble. But F Messi's going to fall back outside the top 10 to Shred, who is inside the top 10. Caden Williams and uh, Israel Dreamer are coming up as well, along with Frank Chilton, who's trying to keep that points lead gap down, but that 73 is so quick. Uh, Frank Chilton actually getting shuffled out himself. Again, that five car has damaged his performance actually fairly well despite that. I will credit him that much since 48 appears to be slower off pace than the rest of the field. Lap times are 14. It's 48 at. Alright, so the battle for the lead may be picking up here. That 99 has a little bit of a run. We're going to have to go ahead and call the race for the 48. If too far back. Yeah, we're going to have to go ahead and put the 88, 48 out of the race, unfortunately, due to two slow speeds. So unfortunately, those cars are going to have to call it a day because they're too slow and off pace. I, this is a track you do not want to 
be having Rex in late, so. Go ahead and turn off her. Well, I'm keep it on just a little bit to make sure the 101's faring enough all right. Well, we could see a really long green flag run here, which we're starting to see. Uh, I think McClure has a little bit more of a long run car. Again, no one's really had anything for him. It looks like Cooper may try to uh, get second here. We'll have to see how that ends up. He does appear to be pulling away just a little bit. And keep an eye on these lap traffic. Uh, damage vehicle policy is in effect, so if you have damage, you're going to get parked. If you don't, you won't. Um, actually, uh, for this, you know, see, yeah, the 101, if he falls back too much, he's getting DQ'd. The 06, on the other hand, I think he'll be all right. We'll see how they, uh, how close they are. I think the 06 will be all right. Since he's keeping up all right. The 5 is not keeping up well at all. So we'll have to keep an eye on him. I think that uh, 101 may be a concern, however. 54 is pulling away just a little bit. And we're past halfway now. A uh, couple wrecks at the beginning. So far, clean enough. Just keep it green. Reggie, what are you doing, dog? Oh, and we got a wreck. Craig Pachris in the 46 is around. Right in front of the leaders. Craig Pachris is around, and we are under crushing once again. The leader's going to race back to the yellow, or they may actually already have raced back to the yellow. So, Anthony McClure back to the lead. So, let's see what happened to the 46 of Craig. Uh, I was just looking back there to see what was going on, and he got spun out by, uh, I think, Zig Zagoon. So let's go slow-mo here, see what happened. So it looks like Zig Zagoon. Well, see, he got in the wall, and Michael didn't have anywhere to go. And then Craig just spun himself out. A little bit of damage to the 101. That might be the might be Moon Man's race if he has too much damage. He's going to hit the wall, likely. But uh, right in front of the leaders, too. You don't want to do that. <laughs> Unfortunately. So, fairly easy wreck. We'll go, we'll go uh, roof cam since we got a little bit of time here. All right, so roof cam with Craig Pockers. As he got it, got got tight, got in the wall. Nothing he could have done. Back to live coverage. Anthony McClure has led them all so far, and this is a great point stay for Anthony McClure. He may get inside the top. He actually probably will get inside the top 16 in the standings. Solely off lap sled. If he loses the lead or gets wrecked or something, I think he's still in great shape. But, uh, crazy turn of events. Uh, Santa Messi's falling back quite a bit. So, uh, we'll have to see how that goes. So, um, I think that a top five is pretty much held the same. Craig's going to get moved to the back here once they get around. He will not be eligible for the free pass due to the fact he was involved in the crash. And the reason he is a lap down is because the car's raced to the yellow. And when he raced, and when uh, the field crossed the line, he was not already, he had not crossed the line yet and was unable to get past the leaders. It's complicated how the game works, but he will be shuffled to the back when we go before we go green in that 46 car to make sure there's not any crazy stuff going on. So not, I wouldn't say a total wreck fest. We've gone somewhat, we've kept it mostly green, clean, green and clean. Linda Jones looking for a good day. LJ Toledo has still kept up front. Uh, hasn't literally gained or lost much. Uh, the 87 looking to get back to back top 10s with a win. And now it's day getting the top 10. Raleigh Gorse looking to stay in contention for the playoffs in ninth. And then just right there in tenth is Shred, who is the points leader, who once again uh, did this a couple races ago. Uh, before, uh, not not this last race, but the race before, is the 46 is going to the back of the field uh, because he's a lap down. But uh, those points lead may grow a little bit. But Frank Chilton is still only five spots back, and there's 
positions can change. We'll see where it goes. That's also 10th place. So top 10 to your name is pretty good. Kaden Williams may want that. We go back to the front, 54. Reggie, you want to call green? Maybe our last uh, last restart. Green and clean. See if the 99 may try to do something on the start. 58 try to do something as well there. Try to slide in a little bit different, change something up as the 73 trying to get around the 16. Cars in the back may be in the wall, may have another yellow, but nothing's been called yet. 17's on pit road. I'm not sure why. I wonder if that uh, one car is still in the race. But shred. Oh, the 16 Riley Gorse into the wall. Keeps it oh, keeps it clean enough. Oh, Vince frees up the track. Frank Chilton trying to get around these guys. Three wide. Azriel Dreamer. 16 into the wall again. Oh, he's in it hard, hard in the wall. Oh, no. The, oh, they almost saved it. Almost. Caution's out. Oh, Azriel with a hard wreck for Azriel Dreamer, who was running really well today. That was avoidable, though. Kyler Sustre caught in the crosshairs as well. The 17 was just coming out of pit road. Uh, very wise move by Nimrod to avoid there. I think that was a little bit of Nimrod getting loose, though. Um, we're going to go to the 75 because they actually had the worst of it, so... The 16 went up the track. We go slow mo. Then the three wide never works. He was riding on the wall. Nothing he could do. Nimrod actually slid it to avoid it. It worked. And then it's loose. Ah, almost saved it here, but the 16 bounced. And then the 97's right there. Kyler Sustre probably has a little bit of damage. And nowhere to go for Azrael Dreamer in the 75. Again, just caught his third in points, plows in. Jimmy Starr, 324 fan, a little bit of damage. Same Messi, I believe, was able to avoid this. And then Byron, Byron, Brian Webb, who was coming out of pit road, may have gotten involved in this. Moon, that, that, yeah, Moon Man's out of the race. That is the third wreck he's been involved in. No way he did not get involved in that. And then the 17, I believe, did get a little bit of damage there, and they may already call it the race. But the 75 is done. Anthony McClure still leading. Where is Shred? That Shred is in ninth. Is go ahead and turn on the stage real quick just to ensure. Yep, in ninth, Frank Children okay. is in twelfth. So that's the points lead for you. Frank looking to, or uh, Shred looking to expand that points lead. Hypothetically. Yeah, can I announce something? Huh? Yeah, can I announce something? Yeah, sure. Fred is on my track. For next season. Yep, Shred going to the track house racing next season as Ronnie Racing has left the server. Their contract's already been made. Out of the race now is, to no one's surprise, the uh, 75 and 101. And the 17 probably would have gotten a free pass there had they not gotten wrecked. And then the 46 is several laps down, not eligible. Eric Monaco also involved. He will not be eligible. Unfortunately, Vince Freeze, who has just came off a really good finish, unfortunately not able to repeat that. Will DNF and uh, yeah, unfortunate. Uh, so only 27 cars left in contention with less than 10 laps to go, and the lead has had some shot of weakness, but we haven't really had a long enough run to see for sure if that 99 has anything for him. Is that 54 appears to be was faster at first, but now it looks like as this race has gone on, it's changed a little bit. We'll have to see how it ends. I wouldn't be surprised if he led the whole thing, because he was really, he's been really quick. So, we'll see. That would be a team top top five for both K&K &K and uh, McClure Motorsports. McClure Motorsports two-car team, this would be big for them in standings. Uh, that both their drivers could get inside the top 16 if this finishes the way, it, uh, if it finishes well enough. Well, already this may be the last time you call green. May not be. You willing to bet on it? Uh, 99's almost right there with the 30. Did not get a good start there. 
of Cooper, and that may allow the 55 of Ryan Cole to try to take third. Or it may stack up the field, cause a wreck. We'll have to see. Uh, 99 peaking low. Can they stay green long enough for him to take the lead? He just doesn't have the. He has the. Sh he has the long run, but no short run. I think we're under yellow again. No surprise. As they're avoiding a big accident in turn one. Uh, it looks like the uh, 06 may be involved. I made it two laps. So what happened? Oh, so this was again avoidable. Lap cars in the back just forgetting how to drive. And th this is the second wreck the 06 has caused. They really fell off big time. After being so successful in the beginning of the season, they really fell off. Uh, the 06, and these guys have already been involved in the wreck too. So, yeah, 06 got in the wall, 83, double zero, Santa Messi. That's could be Santa's race. Yeah, I think Santa Messi's done for today. 83 hitting 43 involved. Oh gosh. Matthew Hill is probably done. Yeah. Very again, another avoidable wreck that this does not happen. That 99 almost had it, but he's he's got short run speed. He's got those restarts, and that's really it. Uh we may go overtime here, but uh that 99's only got those restarts to their advantage, and the rest has just been rough. They can't, they don't have any long run speed for that 54, who appears to just be playing faster. Fast slap, yeah, and feed, he, he is the fastest car by a good ten, uh, tenth of a second. So, fastest car starting pole and winning the race, and being fast in the race is insane. I'll say that much. Second fastest car is a 25, and he has shown it. He has drove himself into the top 10. The Shred is also very quick. They have drove themselves from, uh, like, 19th, I think, something like that. So they've had a really stellar race as well. But the top five has really seemed to stay the same ever since that record on lap one with Santa Messi, who uh, may finally be out of the race. Well, I think they're still in it, but wouldn't place a bet on them staying in it. Uh, 43, I think, may still be in it. 17, 46 still in it, but several laps down. Well, it's Bristol, all right. I wouldn't say it's perfect, but we've seen worse at Bristol races, probably. Good thing it's a longer race, so this race will be extended by one lap, it appears. Maybe two, probably two, actually. That's just going to be more laps led for Anthony McClure. Uh, plus that 10-point bonus for most laps led. And the 10-point bonus for the pole sitting position. And if he wins it, he gets another 10-point bonus for winning it, which is basically 10 more points than what second place would have. Actually, it'd be the second place would get 42 points, the winner would get 55. That if that gives you any perspective on what that means. But crazy points today for that 54 car. Definitely gonna put him well inside the playoff group. The, if he wins it, be his first career win. Uh, he has not won, so. That's interesting. I ran last season, and the reason it's so important to be his first career win, he's actually came really close a lot last year. This year not been as consistent, but today he may have just punched his ticket. Unless Potato Boy is able to get a really good start and take the lead with two to go, which he has not done yet, and I doubt we'll see. 54 would have to really get a bad start or be really off pace. Second place wouldn't be bad. 54 with a perfect start. I think he's got it. If they can stay green for this lap, the next lap's gonna the we're gonna see a white flag and the next flag after the white's gonna be it. Race is official, one lap to go here at Bristol. I think that 54 has just got the better car right now. No one's got anything. Sandy Messi on pit road. And Anthony McClure and the 54 Sharpie Ford will win his first career win race here at Bristol. Some Dan in the back trying to make some moves and uh, go straight to pit road. Well, that race was heck. Um, Anthony McClure pretty much dominated. Uh, Potato Boy... He's a rookie. Great second place finish for those both those K and K cars getting second and third. Ryan Cole getting fourth. That's a win for each of the McClure Motorsports drivers this season. 
Uh, and then fifth place, Melinda Jones, who really needed that. And then a few DNFs we didn't want to see. Vince Freeze, who was just at the cut line. And then a few other cars, like Jet and uh, a few others. That big points um, kick as well for those guys. And Eric Monaco, who unfortunately did not finish either. Maybe falling below if this didn't go well for him. Reggie, do you got any thoughts? No, yeah, that race is crazy. Um, I've seen worse, but it's crazy. Anthony McClure, to no one's surprise, with the very quickest lap by a good 10. Um, I believe he posted that fastest lap uh, with this overtime finish as well. Played it very well, um, and will go to victory lane. I believe a very deserving fashion. Just quickest car won the race, uh, same as last week. So, um, yeah, lack of parity, but. A deserving winner nonetheless.